In this exercise, we will learn about version controlling in RoboHelp using Git. Let's begin with installation of Git Bash. We can download the setup depending on the operating system from following website. Once the setup file is downloaded, let's begin by launching the setup. Click next to continue and select the location where you wish to install the program. Select the components you want to install by clicking the check boxes besides them. Once it is done, click next. Over here, we can select the location of program's shortcut to be created. You can browse and select the desired location. We can now choose the default editor to be used by Git. You can also adjust the path environment to decide how you wish to use Git from command line. You can now select which SSL slash TLS library is to be used by Git to establish HTTPS connections. In the following windows, you can choose how you want Git to treat line endings in text files and also choose the terminal emulator you want to use with Git Bash. You can now select additional features to be enabled. It would take several minutes and the installation shall complete in a while. Once the installation completes, we can now launch Git Bash and proceed further with this. We can now proceed by generating a new SSH key and adding it to the SSH agent. We can find appropriate commands on the following URL. For your reference, we have provided all URLs used in the end of this exercise.
We will now open git bash and run following command to generate RSA key pair. You can enter the file in which you want to save the key. We will use default file for now. Upon hitting enter, you can now create a passphrase and hit enter. In case you do not wish to use a passphrase, you can just hit enter and proceed with this. Once it is done, your identification and public key will be saved on location provided. We will now add SSH key to SSH agent and first need to ensure that SSH agent is running. It can be done using following command. Once the agent ID is displayed, we can now add SSH private key to SSH agent using this command. We can now copy the contents of the public key using following commands so we can then add it on GetHub account. Alternatively, you can also copy its contents by opening the file from its location in Notepad. We will now add this key on our GetHub account. In order to do that, go to github.com. Click on your logo from top right corner and go to settings. Now, click on SSH and CPG keys option from left menu. Click on new SSH key option, create a title and description for SSH key. Paste the copied contents under key filed and click on add SSH key. Enter the password of your GetHub account to confirm and the key shall be added to your account. Once the key is added to your GetHub account, you can now create a repository where you wish to save your project on GetHub in the following manner. Once it is created, copy the SSH path as it would be used later while setting up a new connection in RoboHelp. You can now open your project in RoboHelp and sup a new connection from Collaborate menu. In this window, Enter the URL to your repository which was copied earlier. Enter the user ID in the following format. Enter the SSH private key file from the location you saved it on along with the path of the project you wish to share.
Now that the connection is set up, we will add the project on this profile in the following manner. Once it is done, you can now push the contents of your project to your GitHub account. As you can see here, the project is added to the GitHub account. For this exercise, we will now create a new topic and see how we can update it on GitHub. Once the required changes are made, click on commit followed by push. As you can see, the updated content is reflected on GitHub account. We will now share the project with another collaborator from settings menu of repository in following manner. You can also copy the invite link and share it externally. Once the collaborator accepts the invite, they will set up a new connection to import the project at their end and begin collaboration. They can then pull the project at their end, make required changes and push it back. For your reference, we have shared recorded screen of other collaborator reflecting how you can import a project. As you can see, the collaborator received the invitation link via email. They can now click on view invitation button and will be redirected to repository page. They will copy the repository path as it will be used while setting up a connection to import project. While setting up a new connection, they will enter the repository path in the following window. They will now enter their user ID along with their private key and local path where they wish to save the project. Once the connection is set up, they can now open the project in the following manner.
they will now make the required changes in the project and will commit and push the changes done. It will take a few moments and the changes will be pushed to the author of the project. As you would notice, the updated changes are reflected at our end in GetHub. And this is how we use version controlling in RoboHelp using Git.